All right, folks, in this video, I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS in your ASRock B365M-ITX-AC motherboard. So this one is already 8th and 9th gen compatible, and um, you're only really doing this, you know, for uh, not for future proofing, really, but security um, and or other issues that might um, be resolved uh, more related to hardware, such as uh, with solid state drives. Uh, maybe even with a graphics card, things like that. So we're going to type in our motherboard, and lo and behold, it's right there. So that takes us right to uh, all these links. You want to go with the genuineassrock.com. And from here, we just want to verify it's the right motherboard. Sometimes you have revision 1, revision 2 on some of these, but uh, this is one the original so we want to go down here to support don't click on this support up here make sure it's this one otherwise you will not end up in the right spot then we're going to click on BIOS and we um, looks like we've got a new one here May 19th so today is actually May 20th so this just come out alright folks so here's how we're going to get our file for the BIOS so we've got a thumb drive in here um, I'm going to create a folder on it and I'm going to call it B365M and then we are I've already shown you how to get to this website now we're going to come over here and download Gobel um, so in this case you don't need to grab all of the other BIOS updates between the one that you have and the newest one let's say you had 4.0 you don't need to do all of these guys. Um, that said, there will be times where on different motherboards for different reasons, you may have to do one of these in between your steps before you do the latest, all right? But in this case, there is nothing in here that tells you that you cannot um, jump to it. And then of course, we don't recommend users to update the BIOS if their system's already running normally. I second that. All right, so we're going to go over here and hit download. They give you a little warning message here. And it's asking where we want to save it to. So I'm going to find my drive, B365M. And in a moment, it'll show that it saved it. Boom, I'm going to open the folder. I'm going to right click on it to extract all because otherwise um, the BIOS won't see the file and I'm going to go in and delete the compressed one because I don't need it anymore oops let's try that again alright so you're ready to go for the next step and uh, so there are different ways to uh, do this um, there's basically a two options. One is uh, the thumb drive and do it inside the BIOS, and then there's instant flash, okay? So let's just, for the hell of it, click on that. And there's actually directions in here. Normally for these videos, I do method one. Now, for all of these, you've got to download the BIOS file and put it on a thumb drive, all right? This one, um, you actually allow it to boot to BIOS now, whether you uh, haven't installed a hard drive and it boots there automatically or you have to hit F2 um, to get there, you'll eventually get to the BIOS. So uh, inside of here, you would um, go through and do the Insta Flash there. So I've done this a bunch of times and we're going to do something different this time. And then there is uh, method two, which is, you know, all somewhat similar. All right. So I like to tell you what we're going to do, and then we're going to go do it. All right. Method three. This is the one that I, I never do, and uh, I may start doing it. All right. So like it says, Step one, save the BIOS files on a FAT32 formatted USB disk. We've done that. 
So in a moment, we will restart the computer. So they leave some steps out here. Um, you would restart the computer. And as soon as you see that as rock there, you're going to start hitting the F6. Now that's going to be a little difficult for me recording uh, because I have to basically go away from the screen capture to um, a camera. Uh, but hopefully we'll get all that in. Step three, select the suitable BIOS version. So I can tell you this thing is uh, pretty much going to find this thing on the thumb drive um, pretty much on its own. Select the suitable BIOS version and click yes to flash the BIOS. And from there, what they um, system will start to flash the BIOS. So this part, you know, will take a little bit of time. Once the BIOS is flashed, it'll show programming success. Press enter to reboot the system. And a good chance it will reboot at least a couple of times. Um, after the system restarts, press F2 to end their BIOS. Set up utility during boot up and exit menu. Please select load default settings and press enter to continue. Select exit saving changes and exit the BIOS. And now the system is booting up with new BIOS. So I'm not actually going to do this this last step in this video. Um, but uh, I will show you where to find your BIOS before we get into it. So um, I'm actually you're going to type in system information and in there you'll find your BIOS. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. I'm doing the Insta Flash version. So we're going to restart and then we're going to hit F6 when we see the ASRock logo. Make sure I find the F6 key. And of course all this crap is... Okay, so as soon as that ASRock... Hey, there I am, guys. As soon as the ASRock logo pops up, we're going to hit F6. Oop, that's not the ASRock. This is a different computer. Uh, Alright, so we're going to try this again with the right computer. And... She should be booting up. We're waiting for the ASRock. Waiting, waiting. Okay, so that was uh, that was tough because the computers around the backside of the monitor. We're uh, at the instant flash. We got the thumb drive in. Okay, so. All we want to do is uh, update. Do you want to update UFI to blah, 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 blah? Okay. So it found the file on its own right there. I'm going to say yes. If pressing enter, the system will automatically reboot. Please wait for a few seconds. And the BIOS will, the BIOS update will continue. So that's what we want. Now, my mouse has disappeared. I mean, that's not a good sign, folks. Um, we're going to hit OK with the Enter button. And voila. So, I have this ridiculously big 4K TV for a monitor. Um, yeah, I have a couple of them, actually. But uh, we... Uh, we need to be able to do our 4K videos, so instead of getting a real gaming monitor, this is what I got. Now I'm going to pause this for a second, because uh, this is going to take a little while. We'll pick up back when it gets closer to 80%. Alright folks, so hopefully you saw that real quick. It went to uh, from 80 to 100% like that. Which, uh, yeah, kind of hard to hit the uh, unpause button. But uh, trust me, nothing exciting happened. So here's ASRock again. We're not hitting anything, okay? We don't need to reinstall the BIOS again. But that is a really good sign that at least that came up. Um, it's going to reboot a few times. So whatever you do, stay the hell away from your computer, okay? Just back off. 
like I'm doing. Matter of fact, I'm getting even further away. Um, so I'm not even tempted to do anything. Wait till this thing comes to the login screen. And once it does that, you know you are uh, golden. Okay? So it's, it's already restarting again. And probably on this restart, fingers crossed, that it will actually go to the login screen. That's amazing when you look at these and see how many times they update the uh, BIOS. Um, obviously, in this case, they skip quite a few numbers or alphanumeric numbers, uh, but uh, still quite a bit. So working on updates, and boom, we're at the login screen. I'm going to show you uh, system info so you can see that the BIOS did take. All right, so down here, uh, you're just going to type in system information or sysinfo. Or you can start typing in it, and if you're paying attention, you'll see the app pop up up here. And there it is. So, let's go through these slowly. Do, do, do. Eventually, we will see it. So, um, there is the new BIOS. It says 5.14.2020. Uh, it was uploaded 5.19. But uh, there you go, folks. We're good to go. Updated. Hopefully, you will have this much success as I did. I know uh, some of you, if there's 10,000 people that watch this, there will be some casualties out there and I, I feel sorry for you, um, but I did warn you. All right, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.